Hello to Will. Will, I don't know if you, I, I assume you heard some of that. Uh, what was your reaction to the comments of your uh, teammate? Uh, first, thanks for having me, Paul. But uh, yeah, it's, um, he's a great dude. I didn't get to watch the whole interview, but um, I think most of what he said was accurate. So that's good. <laughs> you, you will confirm that Tavion said you're, you're, you're all business in the huddle and uh, you run a good ship. Well, I'm glad you do because uh, you've had an amazing season. Certainly uh, the last game made some people nervous, even though you had four touchdowns and more than 300 yards. Uh, Fans always get nervous about these type of games. Uh, take us through playing Northern Illinois, a team that didn't even come in very highly regarded. Uh, what what was it that made that game closer than maybe it should have been? Yeah, that's a great football team, first and foremost. I think that uh, their record doesn't represent their uh, their true ability. And uh, we knew that it was going to be someone we're going to have to game plan very hard for and be, uh, be on the nose for on, on all things that we did. And uh, just uh, the, the flow of the game was, was a little different. I mean, each of us – only touched the ball once in that first quarter. Uh, we each had like seven and a half minute drives. We had a 16 play drive, which was awesome. And then um, I think on offense, we did a great job of just handling the situations that were put in front of us. Definitely some plays we wanted to have back. And I know the defense feels the same way, but um, we scored points when we when we needed to. And uh, towards the end there, it did get a little um, did, get, did get a little scary with that onside kick. But I mean, uh, any win is, is a good win, and we're never going to be upset about winning. That's something I'm glad you said, uh, Will, because I think fans uh, and, and media people, we all, we're, we're guilty of, of, of being theater critics as opposed to realizing that the main objection is to get out there and, and, and try to get a win. And if you don't do everything perfectly, uh, you, you deal with it afterwards. In, in relation to that, let me, let me ask the question that you, you've probably been asked and you will continue to be asked, and that involves your teammate, Chris Rodriguez, who we haven't seen and we're expecting to see this weekend in Oxford at, at a pretty appropriate time, considering how good Ole Miss is. Uh, what can you tell us about his return? Yeah, we're, I mean, we're excited. We, we know that whether he was with us or not, we were going to be able to, to, to get things done like we have been. But uh, he, he's just such a great uh, weapon to, to include in the offense. And uh, I know he's been itching to get back out there, and he's been practicing his butt off and preparing mentally as, as hard as anybody, uh, staying in shape and making sure that he's ready for his return. And even today in our in our little Monday practice, we just had uh, use out there with, on a mission. And you, you, could easy, you could easily tell that from watching on the sideline. And um, he's going to make sure that he, he's ready. And just, we're just pumped to have him back. We hear this all the time. You, know, you hear it on the NFL. You hear it in college ball where the quarterback uh, and the receivers, are, they're on the page. They're not on the right page. Uh, can you explain what that means to those of us who have no earthly idea what we're talking about when we say that? I think it's just kind of a – there's just a, a relationship and a chemistry that you have to have that just clicks at one point. And that just comes with preparation. And um, it's a result of all the work that you've put together in the off season. I, th I think that um, working on things game plan wise, it's nice that most of the stuff that we, we are doing in a game plan is, is stuff that we've been working on since the spring or the, or even the winter. Um, but then there's only a few things really per week that we need to kind of lock in on and understand that this is that something we haven't done yet and that we need to really uh, work on for these a few days of fast practice before we get to the weekend. So um, it's a product of all the off-season work. And I'd, I'd liken it to just knowing what each person is doing and, and being on the right timing and the right kind of uh, timing location uh, that we, that each other has. And uh, it's, that's all I could really liken it to. Well, when you have someone like Chris, uh, and you've got other good receivers too, I don't want to say that, but you have you have an additional one. So it, it gives you more more options. Um, does it does it give you a, a more of a comfort level? Uh, you're a very confident quarterback anyway, but but describe what that means to have someone of his ilk uh, on on yeah. on the sides. Yeah, I mean, um, Chris coming back. Uh, I mean, he's going to be able to make some plays and, and break some runs that I think will be able to open up uh, some of the play action game. I think that a lot of our offense runs through the play action, and, and it's not going to be as effective if the run game isn't working to the level that we want it to. Um, and, and we know that Chris is going to be able to, to keep people on their toes with his, his effectiveness running the ball. So um, the, the run game paired with our pass game is, is very, very important to keep in mind. Let me ask you about this weekend because uh, and I want, and rarely do we ask uh, players about other coaches, but, but Lane Kiffin has this reputation. Uh, he's developed so many incredible quarterbacks, as, as you know. When, when you watch a game 
coached uh, and called by, by Lane Kiffin, and you know, you know, he has a coordinator as well, but he's a big part of that offense. What, what do you think about him, and, and what's it like to play a, a Lane Kiffin-type team? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great coach. I think his, uh, his track record speaks for itself. I, I've never, never been able to develop a relationship with him. I've only been able to watch his teams play on television, but uh, it seems that the quarterbacks that have played for him have absolutely loved playing for him, and he gets his guys ready. And uh, they're, they're as highly ranked as they are for a reason. And we're going to go down there and, and look forward to playing a really tough football game. And uh, anytime you're playing an SEC game, uh, you know that you're going to have to bring it or else uh, you can get surprised. So uh, to, to go on the road and to have kind of that motivation to, to go down there and, and make our fans proud to, to, or, uh, to produce in an environment like that is really exciting. I mean, we did it once against Florida this year. I mean, I, I have more fun on, in away games than I do at home games, I think. So um, I know he's going to bring it and he's going to prepare his team just like we are. Well, you know, the media talks about the rankings, um, and this is an unusual game. When you think of Ole Miss uh, hosting Kentucky, and uh, we're in a, un, uh, you know unprecedented times here with, with Kentucky being a top-10 team and Ole Miss right outside of it. Do, do players think about or talk about stuff like that very often? No, it's really cool. I mean, I, I, I saw that clip that Tavion said that this is the highest we've been ranked, the highest we've been ranked since uh, 1977, which is cool, really cool to think about. But at the same time, you, you can't really think about that stuff. We're going to prepare and we're going to make sure that we're ready for games, uh, regardless if we're unranked or, or ranked first in the country. So uh, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's cool to acknowledge, but um, it, it does add a little bit more of kind of an energy and uh, a little bit of motivation, but it's not going to change the way how we prepare. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.